guys, we just showed up here and uh, we got checked in at, at Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. I want you guys to check it out. This is really cool. You come in here, you don't have to worry about menus. Look at this. They've done an excellent job of putting up QR codes all up here at the ticket station. All you gotta do is scan it with your phone. Boom, you've got your menu. You can look at it and you don't have to worry about menus not being touched or having to give them back. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I shared with everybody how when you go in to check in, they don't have menus to give you. So they have a nice QR code located right there in the check-in desk. All you have to do is take a picture of that. Immediately pops up and what does it give you? It gives you the, the entire menu. It's the limited menu, mind you, at the moment, but it does give you the menu on your phone. So, uh, I mean, everyone is gonna have their phones with them, right? The two-page menu, first menu has uh, all of the, the, the foods, appetizers, and the entrees. Second one? All the drink offerings and things like that. And that way, you know, here you've got it. You've got that disposable, or not disposable, but you don't have to have the disposable menu. You've got it on your phone, and it just makes it so much easier to be able to, to order. You don't have, they don't have to hand you anything, and you don't have to hand anything back. already excited because of the straws. They're agave. They're the agave straws. They're why are they paper. why are they more special than paper? Because they don't get mushy. They actually last the entire meal. Yeah, and they are they are environmentally friendly. They will they're, break they're down same eventually. As, same but. as paper as far as environmentally conscious. But they stay a straw the entire meal. They're awesome. I wish uh, the rest of Disney would incorporate agave straws. They're awesome. Alright so we started off with the church lady deviled eggs. Now, I, I gotta tell you guys, <laughs> what was that? She's, what are you laughing at? There's one missing. There's Sorry, one guys. missing. Before I could even talk about it, she's already swiped one of the eggs. It's like an Easter egg. She hid it somewhere, and They're I think so I know good. where. They're so good. She, she's already swiped one. So, <laughs> this is the church lady uh, doubled eggs. It's just, uh, and for me, I don't know about you guys, um, except for the bacon, um, this is a, a staple of southern food growing up, especially in. South Georgia for myself. When you win anything, there was a, a, a crowd gathering together. Someone brought deviled eggs, yep. and uh, if you were lucky, several people brought deviled eggs. They're super creamy. They look, uh, they look perfect. amazing. I love a good deviled egg, but I don't think I have had a deviled egg with bacon in it quite like this before. So she says they're good. I don't they're know. They're very good. I didn't sneak them yet. Delicious. <laughs> um, nothing like a good deviled egg. Good, good, these are feather comfort food. Now, is this like a some greenery? I would greenery say they there. make it look pretty. Yeah. I almost want to put some green here. See, look, look, mom, I'm having a salad. Oh, my salad fell off. There we go. Thank you so much. You guys got the video down? <laughs> so good. The bacon just makes it even better. Isn't that perfect? I've never seen that with a with a little piece of bacon on it. It's usually like a little onion. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. It usually makes it like a little bit more breakfast. Of course, here. we never had deviled eggs this fancy growing up. You know. We just have the ones with like the olives on it. The oh, if that, on. if that. <laughs> but see, this was such a great appetizer growing up because, especially those of us who were like near the country or family who lived in the country, we all had chicken. Yeah. So it was really easy to make something like this yeah. because you just walked out back and got something from the coop and boom, you get an appetizer yeah. just ready for uh, uh, the, the, the meal for the community. So yeah, this is just going to bring back a lot of memories. Yeah, I agree. Fruit, fruit them up differently too. I like that. We can like add jalapeno or do something different and kind of make them a little bit better. Oh yeah. yeah. All you got to do is change a little bit of the top and boom, you got a completely different end. Exactly. So it's really good. Well, I'm glad y'all like it. Okay, Thank you. Okay, so there are six eggs for the appetizer. Susan's already ate two. She's only got one. The great thing about this dish is that I know exactly which eggs are mine, which ones are hers. So we can, I could totally mess things up and take one from the other side. Or, or switch it around, but no. <laughs> I've got an eye on them. I know which ones are my eggs. So at the moment, they do have a limited menu here at Art Smith's uh, Homecoming. Uh, here's the thing. We wanted to have a little bit of a, a good variety of food today. 
Uh, so therefore, uh, Susan actually ordered one of their gluten-free sandwiches that's really popular on the menu. If you're coming in the time at the moment, talk with the chef to have some suggestions of what they can do for the gluten-free options. The one she ordered is not actually on the limited menu, but they can still prepare it. They're taking care of, taking care of Susan, so ask. Uh, I myself, um, I needed to have the fried chicken because, you know, this is what they're known for. you got to have some fried chicken. But I also saw that they had a barbecue sandwich that comes with a fried egg. Guys, I have never had barbecue with a fried egg on it. It just intrigued me so much. So I ordered the barbecue sandwich, the barbecue bun, as they refer to it as. And then I ordered a side of a, of a chicken thigh so I could try the fried chicken. Then, of course, we got a couple extra sides as well. So we can try the mashed potatoes, the roasted free, sweet potatoes. Uh, what else did we get? Uh, I'm going to have coleslaw that comes with my barbecue bun. So we're going to have a good selection here. And uh, if we can finish it all, maybe we'll make it to the hummingbird cake for dessert. <laughs> but I'll do it. I'll do what I can for you guys. The things we do. Sacrifice. So far. Uh, finish our app. Uh, Susan's Hummingbird Cake. And now we're just waiting for our entrees, and I'm really excited about the sandwich that I ordered because it has pepper jelly. Now, any of you that are from the South, you know about pepper jelly. It's a staple in most Southern households, although it's not normally served on a sandwich. Traditionally, you might have like a block of cream cheese and the pepper jelly over the top and serve it with crackers. That's what I'm anticipating, but I'm really excited about it. So, here it comes food, and we're excited. Um, but, uh, and mashed potatoes, I'm a huge fan of mashed potatoes, generally speaking, what's not to love there. There's just so much comfort food on the menu. So if you're the kind of person who traditional Southern food is a comfort food for you, and it just make, gives you the little happy, then I think this might be some place you want to check out. All right. First, I had the gluten-free. That's me. Cheesy mashed potatoes. Yes, yes. Thank you. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet boy sandwich, sweet potatoes, over here. Wow. Big time. <laughs> I hope you're hungry. That's yeah, all for that's you. That's awesome. All right. Now we've got a little bit of a spread here. Yes. So Susan has, explain to me, it's a chicken sandwich. It's a club. It's a club sandwich. Chicken club, and it's got um, the blue pepper, pepper jelly. She added cheese. For me, she asked me if I wanted cheese. All the cheese is melted all yeah, over the chicken Yeah, it's all melted too. and yummy. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, And the mashed jelly. potatoes. That kind of mashed potatoes are served. That, that is awesome. Oh, they're, like, they're like toasty. Like they put them under a broiler and melted the cheese on top. I'm really excited about those. And I got a side chicken thigh. Yeah, that's awesome. 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 Yeah, I'm so jelly. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Dan. Thank Appreciate you. it. Perfect. And uh, Dan brought me a couple of sauces here as well. I'm going to try the hot sauce. I got a little bit of hot sauce to try with the chicken. And their house-made ranch. So dip that and try those as well. And I got the uh, barbecue bun. The, um, and it comes, I don't know if you can look at this. It comes with a fried egg on top. That just looks awesome. <laughs> and the roses sweet potatoes. So. Does it look delicious? It looks great. Looks Are great. you excited about that egg? Uh, yeah, it's gonna, so very. It's going to be runny. It's going to be like running all over the place. I see it, yeah. All right, so have you actually tried the sandwich yet? I have not. I am totally distracted You're by totally the, mashed the mashed potatoes. These are not diet food. This is all comfort food. There's nothing diet about this. It's so good. So good. Exactly. I'm not sure that's, that's good. I might need to try that myself. So I tried our mashed potatoes. They're decadent. They are very rich in flavor. But, I mean, that's just not your normal mashed potatoes right yeah. there. There's a good portion of them. Now, I ordered as a side the roasted sweet potatoes. Oh my God. That's like Thanksgiving Day good right there. What? Those are so good. Feeling some guys. Oh, bubble. Oh, those are good. No, they're good. They're good. 
Those are super yummy. Okay, so I'm gonna have my first bite. I haven't tried the barbecue sandwich yet, but I want to try this this chicken. I wish I could put this in a sandwich. This thing is huge. I'm gonna have my first bite. I'm gonna try it first without any of the sauces. I am so jelly. That looks so yummy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How is it? That is good. <laughs> All the flavors and the spices. Just the spices and the flavorings within it. Really good breading. Wow, that's just amazing. And this thigh is boneless. You just go at it. You don't have to worry about getting into a bone or picking around. Oh man. That is so good. So, I want to try it with a couple of the sauces that they have here. I'll say that I've tried it. This is a hot sauce. It smells Tabasco y. Woo! Maybe you shouldn't have put the fried so much on. Woo! No, no. Good. It says it's very spicy. It's got a kick to it. It's a sweet hot sauce. Very sweet. Now I'm going to take an obligatory drink. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> I'm glad I, I, I saved the, the ranch for a second. This buttermilk ranch has milk in it. <laughs> right? Alright. This is a house made ranch. If you're wanting to try it, ask for the icebox dressing. That's how they refer to it. The ranch is the icebox dressing. It's not nearly as thick and dense as you get in some ranch. Yeah. It's very, it's a lot more fluid. I don't think I'd ever say this in normal situations, but I like the hot sauce more than I do the ranch with the chicken. But here's the thing with the chicken. You don't need a sauce on it at all. The good chicken, just eat it. Oh, okay, so how's your sandwich? It's good. So it's got the jelly on the top and the bottom, and I it kind of feels to me like they probably thin it down, like they heat it up and thin it out. Um, so my bun has gone a little mush, but that's partly just because I have a gluten free bun, and that's the nature of the bun. It does not diminish from how very yummy it is. So a really good combination of sweet and spicy and you have all those traditional chicken club ingredients with the lettuce tomato and bacon so it's a sandwich okay these are still good all right so i ordered the barbecue uh bun looks like i can see the butter in it this is going to be a really buttery bun i'm concerned about this I'm gonna bite into that and that egg's gonna go everywhere. Yes, it's gonna be a delicious mess. Oh boy. Oh, that's uh, too late. <laughs> too I already busted it. It oh, went out the other side. Oh, look at all that yumminess. He's gonna have to dip his sandwich into it. Oh. Now, I'm gonna start off taking a bite, but then I'm not gonna film the rest of it because I'm gonna eat this with a fork and knife and you guys are gonna get mad, but. Oh, this is gonna be so messy. That is a bite like I've never had before. The barbecue, um, it's a sweet barbecue. It's like a, uh, not a lot of heat, doesn't have any heat to it, but with the, with the yolk and the egg. I like this, I do, but it's like I said, I've never had anything like this before. And the coleslaw, the coleslaw I'm glad is a, uh, a mayonnaise based, but it's not a vinegar based. A lot of times when you go uh, 
um, and to the Carolinas and the like. The coleslaw has a sharper vinegar flavor to it. Um, this is what I would consider my traditional Southern Georgia mayonnaise based coleslaw. Cabbage is not large, so it's got a, a good crisp to it. I don't like it when they shred the lettuce or the, the cabbage too much because then it just doesn't have the texture it should have, as far as I'm concerned. Quite a spread. <laughs> At least on my side of the table. And he's got the chicken, guys. I am so jealous. It looks and smells delicious. But it is, of course, as is normally the case for traditional southern fried chicken covered with gluten. It's got so much gluten on it right now. <laughs> Dip it in some hot sauce. I wouldn't normally eat, eat chicken with hot sauce like this, but... I need a pit like that every once in a while. And guys, kudos to the servers here at Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. They are muscular. They are strong servers. You know how I know this? Oh my gosh, these things are heavy. This is what the sides come in. I can barely hold it up with these two fingers. It's like a two-handed thing. You guys are super people around here. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Pineapple banana. How is it? It's, oh my gosh. The flavor just kind of, it expands as you bite into it. And I can definitely taste the pineapple. Oh, and the, the banana. The banana. This is like, this was one of my favorite cake flavors pre-going gluten-free, guys. This is a tiny bit of torture to watch him eat this. But oh, so good. Cream cheese frosting. I was I was telling Susan, I'm familiar with hummingbird cake because growing up in the South, we, lots of times we would have hummingbird cake at functions and socials. Not so much at home, but it was a special cake for the day. I did not care for hummingbird cake that much, and I don't have a lot of experience with it. And I couldn't figure out or well, remember why. And I now remember after the server said, this is traditionally served with pecans or some sort of other nut. That's why. I don't really care. I love nuts, I love pecans, I love pecan pie, but most desserts, I don't like the texture of nuts in it. This dessert was made without pecans or any kind of other nut. So those who have an allergy can still enjoy it. And for me, who like my desserts without that crunch, can enjoy it as well. This is delicious. Merchandise you can purchase here at the front, including not only face masks, they also have uh, onesies, beverage holders, umbrellas. You can even buy some of the sauce, beanies, all chicken inspired. Back to the table, Art Smith's uh, award winning cookbook where you can get the recipe for the hummingbird cake that you saw earlier. And they even have uh, Chef Art Smith's homecoming umbrellas in case. The rain gets bad here at Disney Springs. All of these are also included with any of the discounts that you may have, whether it be annual pass holder, PVC. You can check those out and get those discounts as well for the merchandise here. If you weren't aware, these little squeeze cups right here, they're $22 uh, for the cup that comes with a alcoholic moonshine drink in it. But then of course you bring the cup back anytime and you get a $13 refill. It's actually, uh, it says 22 ounces, it's six more ounces than the normal uh, drink at the same price. So every time you bring your cup back, same price, but you get six more ounces for every drink. But also, if you didn't know this, if you buy one of these cups for $10, just the cup, every time you come back to homecoming, you can get a refill on a soft drink, bring it around, bring it in with you, bring it into the bar and get yourself a Coke or whatever else you need to do for a quick walk around. It's an excellent deal and it's a great way to just uh, show your spirit and support uh, for the restaurant. 
Also, that was a great experience. Had a great lunch today here at Chef Art Smith's homecoming here at Disney Springs. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was a good meal. It was delicious. It was very, uh, it was comfort food. It was Southern comfort food. Yes. And I walked away feeling full. We've got a goodie bag to take home to eat some more later. Yep. Um, we had the, um, the fried eggs. Yes. The, not fried eggs, the, the deviled, deviled eggs. eggs. Um, and it's a great appetizer. It comes with six, so, you know, everyone can have uh, one, but in our case, we got to have three each. <laughs> uh, but great, great uh, way to start off a meal. You had the gluten-free sandwich. It's not listed on the menu no, right now. No, worked off menu for me, so I recommend if you have any food sensitivities or allergy issues that you ask for um, one of the chefs to come up and talk to you. They did an amazing job of taking care of me. So, so. yeah, the chef was easy to come out and just say, this is what the options are and this yep, is what this we can do. this is what I can do for you, yep. So it, it, worked, it worked out. Uh, it worked out really well. So she yep. got to try one of the gluten-free sandwiches that even that wasn't on the menu, she got to have. Yep. Um, and I, um, I wanted to try the fried chicken, but I wanted to try some other things as well. So a great recommendation was you can get a piece of chicken a la carte. So I got a a boneless piece of thigh meat, dark meat. Um, it was huge. Uh, tasted amazing. Yeah. Loved the flavors. If you get it as an entree, you're gonna enjoy it. Um, but I had that and also at the barbecue sandwich. Um, barbecue sandwich with a fried egg on it. I've never had that before. And it was. It was good. It was so <laughs> unique. It was a different flavor, but I really did enjoy it. So I would really uh, recommend those who enjoy uh, that kind of stuff. I've had hamburgers with fried eggs, but never a barbecue sandwich. So that was really good. Yes. Of course, a lot of recommendations for the hummingbird cake. Um, really fresh. And uh, like I said, they didn't have any of the pecans or any of the nuts in it. So. Um, it doesn't, it's not a traditional in the fact that it doesn't have the nuts in it, but that actually made it better for me because I like that. Uh, I don't like to have nut texture in my dessert, um, but it was, the flavors were delicious and uh, the cream cheese frosting was really good. So come on over to check it out here at Disney Springs. Uh, we'd love to hear about if you've had a good experience, what you've had here at, at Homecoming. Yeah, let us know, what let us know in the comments experience. down and yes. let us know if we need to come back and try something else. So um of all the things that are menu so thanks for watching guys appreciate it if you haven't already hit that subscribe button we want you to be a part of our community thanks so much for watching and uh, we will see you guys in, in the, the parks, parks.